until y'all 5 30 a.m this one i think she's cramping are you cramping at this current moment i'm not cramping but i've oh, had so enough cramps look walking i've had enough cramps this morning that i was like we might be starting yeah i was getting ready for work i was like you won't walk I was like, you won't walk we walking so we walk keep y'all updated let's see could be and stuff Talk to baby. <laughs> Both y'all quit being hey, 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 wake up. Quit being stubborn. Don't you yell at my baby. No, you gonna quit being stubborn. I don't play that. Bad chick angel. Hey. Bad chick angel. Angel. Don't judge me. I still have makeup on my face from yesterday. So the walk didn't really do anything. Um the cramping has subsided for now, but it, it'll probably come back. This little one woke up just to come in here to fall asleep. And that big one is eating some an egg sandwich that I made him before he leaves for work. So I'm gonna quickly make me an egg sandwich. And then, uh oh, sorry, that's a horrible angle. But I wash dishes. I have a doctor's appointment at 8.30. So I need to, because of morning traffic, I need to get on the road by 7.30. So it's almost 6.30 now. So my goal is to get these dishes washed and get myself washed and have enough time to take a 30 minute nap. Cause I'm not trying to be sleepy just in case today is D-Day. Sorry for the loud noise in the background. That's the baby. Um, I'm being monitored. been in this room since the day before the twins were born. This is the room that they monitored the twins into. I'm having no contractions and as you can hear the baby's heartbeat is very loud and strong. So we'll see. I don't know what's gonna happen. So they finished monitoring the baby's heartbeat and my non-contractions because I'm not having any. So we're about to check my cervix and do an ultrasound. So um, I'm back in the room where we always do my ultrasounds. So we're gonna see. I don't know. I think the baby's heart uh, rate was fine, but we'll still, I think he takes everything, my amniotic fluid, all of that stuff, if I've dilated, into consideration when thinking about whether or not to induce me. So again, I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Sitting here, you know, undressed like you do. Okay, you guys, I don't know if I came back on here after the doctor's appointment, but I'm not dilated. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not having contractions. So, me and the baby are healthy. We're just going to stay pregnant. Point blank and period. Anyways, I was on Facebook as I sat here and chilled in my bed. And somebody was like, there was this post, excuse me, that was like, if you're over a certain age, there will, like there's this, there's this thing that this town is gonna try. Actually, let me just read it, cause I'm all over the place. It says, I need your help. Okay, so I nabbed a younger man. I said it, I'm slightly older than Chris, but I am not 40 yet. Um, however, I heard on the radio that some businesses and even towns are using a sound wave as a deterrent for teens after curfew. Interesting, right? So I looked into it and found a series of sounds that become harder to hear as you age. Uh, this one particular, this one in particular cannot be heard by most people over the age of 40. She was like, I flipping cannot hear this. But her boyfriend can, and she called her kids in and they were covering their ears. So I got to know below, help me feel better or worse. Tell me, it, <clears throat> are you older or under 40? And if you can hear this sound. Okay, here we go. Let's see if y'all can hear it. Because this boy could hear it. I can hear it faintly. He heard it loudly. Okay. <laughs> I can barely hear it. I have to do this. And it's annoying to you? Oh my gosh. Kai and Sai. Sai Kai. Do y'all hear this? This makes me feel. If death ain't real, <laughs> this makes me feel so immortal. Kitchen. You can hear from the kitchen? Yeah, like near the kitchen. Come here. Come here, little boys. Okay. 
We got my whole crew here. Okay. Can y'all hear this? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't started it. What was that? What's that sound? You hear it? Do you hear that? Do you hear this? What does it sound like? Um, the uh, It's going. What does it sound like? Y'all can hear that. Can you hear? I don't hear it anymore. <laughs> no, ain't no help. I can't believe y'all can hear it. One more time. I, I can hear it too. Uncover your ears. Uncover, uh -huh. uncover, uncover. Take your hands off. Can you hear it? Is it loud? Is it soft? It's loud. No, he said it's soft. It's soft. Take your hands off your ears. Is it loud or soft? It's loud. It's soft. It's loud. It's my, soft to my you? My ears yeah. loud. Up. Tell up. me if y'all, oh my God. Tell me if y'all can hear this. This is blowing my Whoa. mind. It's blowing my mind. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm old. <laughs> so, I made Marcus, little Marcus, a promise that I would Murderize him in a uh, Mario Kart. <laughs> he don't know I used to play the original Mario Kart. I ain't tell them on Nintendo 64, so he think he great do something spectacular. I'm great to make him look real bad. What I am confused about is why he's over here. Stop! Come be y'all too loud. Why he's over here assembling his goddamn joystick like it's a transformer. <laughs> It's a little intimidating, but I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm not worried about it. Look at this him? thing. He's, he literally had to assemble this thing. Like, what's all these different compartments and stuff you put together? Can they see it? I can't see it. That's like five different pieces. He came in here and sounded like he was assembling an assault weapon. <laughs> it had pieces and screws and nuts. All right, I'm great. Uh, try not to bring tears to my son. I let him. I let him put it on the sound the seventy inch. Oh, so, will we gay? I'm showing y'all the unfinished man cave, but don't worry about that. So yeah, we ready to uh, get this in. I gotta get him go to work, so I might take him. I might take him. Take it easy on him at first, and then tomorrow I'm gonna come back with a vengeance. What's up, family? Uh, we. I'm sure Marcus hasn't vlogged today. We haven't done much vlogging because we both went to work. I did a voiceover job today. Praise God, I did two sessions. Made some good money. For those of you all, which is not many of you all that I think watch me, that are like SAG actors, you know voiceover job. You get paid guap for a short amount of time. So, I uh, did that today. So, when I'm working, it's really not a... Um, not a time where I can vlog. So, after I left, I went to my girlfriend's house who just had her baby, Emily. She gave me some adult diapers for myself after I have the baby. Some evening primrose to help soften my cervix. Um, some red ras some raspberry or red leaf tea, which is supposed to help with um, getting the uterus to get into motion. And some like puppy pads for like <laughs> leaking um, because we're trying to go to the hospital last minute so right now my hubby who's getting in he's coming with me say hello to the fam what's happening to get foot massages to see if some reflex reflexology will work um, I have a what is that thing called an acupuncturist appointment tomorrow uh, so hopefully something will work so yes I will be 41 weeks tomorrow, so more than likely you all will get a um, pregnancy update tomorrow if I'm not in labor already. So, we still in it. How you feeling? Still in All right. We both work today. That always should feel good. Yeah, two it feels people, great. Two people making money in this house. Amen and amen. So, yeah, sorry for very little content today, but um, <clears throat> we're off to get these massages. All right, we'll talk to y'all later, folks. I didn't break in my camera because I don't know I wasn't thinking. But we made it to a place. 
that wasn't janky. Because if you could have seen the options of <laughs> so, there was one option where they literally just had pictures of what looked to be like Asian prostitutes. <laughs> they did. They you weren't seeing a, none of the inside of their facility. It was literally Asian women in midriff tops <laughs> posed seductively. <laughs> he said, "Now what is that called?" <laughs> Then I realized, oh, there's foot massage places in the mall, so better chance that the facility will be clean. So we're at the mall getting our feet massaged. So we both are. Amen and amen. It ain't gonna take you no time. You know it's plain for me to fall asleep in public. You do it on command. He's always got some mean stuff to say. Hold on, y'all see. Stay tuned. <laughs> move forever. Promise this my move forever and ever. Hey, forget it. Promise this my move forever. Promise this my move forever and ever and ever and ever. All right, so the massaging didn't work. Um, I've been drinking red leaf tea or raspberry leaf tea. I can't remember which one it is. And taking evening primrose oil. Today, we're doing acupuncture. Because I don't want my doctor to induce me. <laughs> I'd rather induce myself. I'd rather just go into labor. But, you know, the clock is now against us. So, about to go into this joint and uh, let this man stick needles in my body. We'll see if that works. There were needles in my fingers, hands my calves and my ankles, as well as something on my toes. Okay guys, we're 41 weeks pregnant. That guy just got home. We are walking, trying to walk Sweet Pea down. As y'all saw, well kind of saw, we got the acupuncture done. Uh, and uh, It's a bad angle you was at. Oh, thank you, thank you for helping me. Yeah. Um, the acupuncture felt like it was doing something earlier and then everything kind of subsided. That's right. Yeah, we go straight. So, um, figure might as well get back on walking but we had to wait well i had to wait until he got home because it was 105 degrees make no damn sense don't make no sense for it to be that hot i said oh no i can't do this i'm not trying to pass out so we're getting a little evening walk in it's still hot but yeah, not, like it cooled terrible. down to like 96. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways um we are going we're gonna finish up this walk I'm gonna go back to the bad angle, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the bad angle because there's so many trees. Like, yeah, they're gonna feel like you're sweating on You see all these trees? <laughs> yeah, they did a good job. Got the big wall, palm trees. Yeah. It's real nice. Um, but let's see if this will do something. I don't think it is, but we're trying. So, I am eight days overdue. <laughs> Sweet pea is chilling and I had put out a little call to action on um, Instagram I was like you guys I'm bored I didn't make any plans I need something to do because I thought I would no longer be in labor I mean that, that I would have a child to be taken care of a newborn well something great happened today so it uh, made my schedule busy so I knew that I wanted the twins to start school here soon um, because it's time, they'll be in kindergarten in a year, and it's not like they're learning a bunch being at home with me. So, there is this like program that LAUSD has, it's kind of like, it's like pre-K. Um, it's like uh, the grade before kindergarten that your child can do. 
and most people signed up for this back in April and I had to wait until the school administration was back in the office to find out if they had any available spots for the twins to go well <laughs> They had spots at the school that I wanted them to go to. It's not a, like the best school ever, but it's enough that they'll be able to like get kindergarten ready. And um, it's just the perfect situation for the family. So come August, instead of having three kids at home, I'll just have, it's just me and, the, and Sweet Pea. And little Marcus and the twins will all go off to school. The twins will be at a different school than little Marcus, but it's fine. Um, the twins will be closer to me. Little Marcus's school is not close, but that's I'm fine where his school is. I'm just glad that I don't have two schools that are far away from me in different directions. So, getting the twins registered today. It was like, y'all, these packets. Oh my gosh, I'm waiting till I show y'all. These packets are so thick. Like, packets of paperwork. But I got it all filled out. The only thing I have to do, which they're not gonna be happy with, is get their, get them their fourth, four, four year old shots. So once their four year old shots are done and I get the immunization record to the school, we'll be set. I'm so excited, they're going to school. I can't wait to do back to school shopping. Like, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> that chick ain't